Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk about the differences between hearing God's voice and life circumstances. Every believer wants to hear from God. Why would you attempt to follow God closely if you didn't want to know His voice or even hear what He has to say on a daily basis? Jesus said, my sheep know my voice in John 10 27 that's especially true in the circumstances of our lives when life is happening we want to know is this God is this what he is telling me to do is God trying to tell or trying to even get my attention and I believe sometimes life is uh, just happening it's not uh, that uh, God isn't interested or uh, in, in uh, control of what he wants to do. He counts hairs on our head and stores our tears in the bottle. He cares, but sometimes life is life. Things happen. Doors open, doors close. Jobs are lost, health changes. The deal on the house we wanted falls through. We don't get the scholarship we had hoped to get in life. And life just keeps happening. And yet, I do believe God will use our circumstances to speak to us. He used a burning bush to speak to Moses. I wish he'd use that one to speak to me sometimes. I think I'd pay attention to that, wouldn't you? And I think that's part of the problem. One thing I've observed is that God, <clears throat> is that we often expect God to speak in a grandiose voice of God. And sometimes God speaks that way. But many times, at least in my life, God is more subtle than that. Often God speaks through those quiet moments, through other people, and through ordinary life circumstances. In a crowded world of noise and life distractions, and even these bugs like out here, sometimes it's hard to understand what God is saying. Don't you agree, isn't it? How do we... You know, in the midst of our circumstances, as mixed up and confusing as they can be, figure out what God could be saying to us. First, I have to say this. It begins and ends in a relationship. If you don't have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, start here. Just read Romans 10, 9, and if you have questions, you can call me at 844-405-HELP. But for those who have a relationship already, which is the majority of my audience, I hope, how do we hear God's voice through our circumstances? Here are seven thoughts on hearing God speak through circumstances of life. Mirror your circumstances with the truth of God's word, my friends. God will never, ever contradict himself. He will never speak to us, even through our circumstance, excuse me, in a way that will contradict his written word I hear people at times claim God is telling them to do something that is in the violation with what God has already said. That's never God. God uses people to confirm his voice, even in circumstances. In my experience, God often sends people into our path to confirm his will for our life. People who attempt to follow God with their life can help us to hear from God. Every time God has called me to something that uh, they uh, have been uh, others to confirm, they, have, they are hearing the same calling. These bugs are terrible, folks. I have often have to cycle through the naysayers to hear them, but they are there, I promise you. I, I seek out wisdom of others. When we went to uh, uh, a church, I thought that's what God was doing, getting me there. That door certainly kept opening, but one loud voice of God where the number of people who kept beginning it to my attention solicited, including one uh, prophetic pastor who claimed to not be a prophet, who spoke directly to a 10-year-old vision of plant exactly as God had originally shared it with me. That was my burning bush. But they don't come along often, my friends. Probably only when you're as stubborn as I am. <laughs> Recognize that God operates from a plan. In Proverbs 16, 9, it says, In his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Uh, uh, Pastor Rick Warren has sold millions and millions of books telling us that we should live our life with a purpose, God's purpose. 
Looking back over my life, I could never have scripted it uh, as good as he could. But I see how God has used him according to the overall plan. He's used his life experience to shape many lives, including mine, in uh, everyday steps of life. He used his business transition experiences to help people like you and me. God knows how to use past for his good. Examine your circumstances in the life of God's overall plan. When trying to hear from God through circumstances of life, we should not try to make a decision on one event or set of circumstances. Circumstances may or may not be God speaking to us. We should look at our life over a span of months or even years. Jeremiah 29 11 indicates that God has a definite plan to proper us uh, and give us hope. But it would take the people 70 years to get there. We often miss the part when celebrating that verse. When we look at our life over time, we will be able to see what God has been doing. When the circumstances of life consistently line up over time with God's overall plan, it is possible that God is trying to speak through those circumstances in your life. God, these bugs. How many times do you have to hear the same thing over and over or experience the same circumstance before you recognize and, abort, uh, and obey the voice of God? Before God called me uh, to, to start talking more often about God, I knew God was directing me to. I was available at that time in between business careers. There were tons of confirmations and signs, and I had to view my life in the context of God's master plan. To make room for God was not the easiest thing. What he had planned for me in my life, in shaping my life. Don't allow circumstances to keep you from hearing and or obeying God. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 16, 8 through 9, but I will stay on the Ephesus until Pentecost because a great door for effective work has opened to me and there are many who oppose me. The common sense thing is to do when everyone opposes, you would be to leave. But Paul knew circumstances were not in the, the, of God's will of his life. Sometimes our circumstances may look gloomy, but we haven't heard the truth of our circumstances until we have heard from God. God has typically spoken to me clearest during my darkest days. When he has my cl closest attention is when I hear him clearly. Fear is a great tool of the enemy. The devil can cause use circumstances also to lead us away from God, which is the devil's mission. This is where the scripture and other people you trust can help you discern. Ask God to show you his perspective of the circumstances. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart in Jeremiah 29, 13. As followers of God, we will spend our whole life trying to discern the will of God for our life. Listening for his voice, if we desire to hear from God through our circumstances, we must intently listen for the voice of God. Hearing from God is not always that easy, I promise you friends. When life is coming at us, we cannot seem to understand what is going on. We shouldn't be afraid to ask for clarification. We should feel free to ask God, what did you mean by that? Many times I think I know that God is saying, but it is in the seasons of questioning that I am more intentional to go back to him for clarification. I have taken days away to intentionally listen to during the confusing times. Remember, God's primary desire in speaking is for eternal purposes. We limit God to this um, uh, infinite world when we fail to remember he is an into infinite God. When we are trying to discern God's voice through circumstances of life, we should consider how what is happening around us fits into God's eternal plan to save a lost world from destruction and to mold his children into the image of his son. God's primary activity will be in these areas of our lives. 
I've always been able to see how God's specific plan for me lined up with his desire to invite a world to know him. If what I sense he is asking me to do would help people know him or know him better, it is much easier to recognize and affirm the voice of God in my own circumstances. Hearing from God is critical for the children of God to know God's will for our life. Our mission is to learn how to hear his voice. We must listen intently and carefully for his voice through the crowd of noises in the world in which we live. Thankfully, thankfully God has given up on uh, has not given up on us, but is still speaking to his people today. Call me at 844 405 help and we can help each other take our lives back. Remember to be good to yourself and more importantly be good to others. May God bless you in my audience and remember listen when God speaks to you even through your darkest times in life during your darkest circumstances. May God bless you.